It's your girl Lexi with Express to Bless. Say that he's written that he died on the cross for us. They say that he's written that he rose again. you guys it's your girl Lexi would express to bless on today I would like to talk on my father and you might be wondering like you talking about is she talking about her daddy or is she talking about God I'm talking about God yes I I say he's my father and so I want you guys to look at him more as a dad and father figure on today a lot of times we we picture God or think of God as an infinite power and you know a great mighty source that actually has you know power over the earth and over the heavens. But I want you guys to get a more personal uh, experience and a more personal outlook on God. So today we're going to talk about God being our parent. We know that parents parents want the best for their children. We know that parents try their best to lead them the right way. So I think we should look at God in that way and in those terms. God desires the best for us. So we have to understand God is not a God that is looking down upon us and wanting us to fail. God wants us to prosper. God wants us to bring him glory. So he desires us to look at him very close and in a personal, uh, personal way of being his father. He's father to us. So um, on today, I'm going to talk about the Ten Commandments. We all know, we look at that as saying, oh, that's just God. That's what God doesn't want us to do. Well, God has given us these guidelines just as a parent. A parent doesn't want their child to do certain things for their safety and for very important reasons. So the Ten Commandments, you guys might know it or you may not. And on here today, I'm going to tell you what they are. So the Ten Commandments. First, you shall have no other gods before me. Basically, God doesn't want us serving people or serving other things that are not him. He wants us to give him the glory, and he wants us to know that he is the one that has given us this life and given us this life to prosper. Two, you shall have no other idols. Make no other idols. He doesn't want us to idolize people which is very important. We shouldn't idolize people. We can look up to people, but let's not put them in God's position, okay? Three, you shall not take the name of the Lord God in vain. God doesn't want us to just believe in him. He wants us to talk about him, express about him, and serve him. Four, keep the Sabbath day holy. Okay, we all, we all know that there is a day that we are supposed to, you know, seek God or glorify God and, and, and find rest. We work in six, seven days a week. Some of us work every single day of the week. But God desires us to keep a Sabbath day holy, which is, he wants us to serve him and seek him. Five, honor your father and your mother. He wants us to have respect for our parents. Isn't that a great God? He wants us to respect our parents, the one who has conceived us and gave birth to us. Six, you shall not murder. Of course, we shouldn't murder. No one should be killing anybody. That's very uh, a respectful commandment. He doesn't want anybody to be killed or die. So seven, you shall not commit adultery. God does not want us to cheat. He does not want us to uh, get married and then commit adultery. Were we cheating on our spouse or, you know, just being with anybody? He wants us to choose a mate and be with them and love them and find love. So eight. You shall not steal. I don't want my stuff stolen, and I'm pretty sure you don't either. So God is saying, don't steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor is the ninth one. Let's not lie on each other. Let's not um, commit false accusations against each other. God does not like lying. I don't either. I'm pretty sure you don't. Ten, you shall not covet. God desires us to go after the things we desire. He does not want us to look at other people and be jealous. So those are 10 commandments that I want you guys to understand and look at as God is just being our father. He just wants the best for us. So we got to keep that in mind and consider those things. He doesn't just want us to not do things. There's a purpose behind it. So this is your girl, Lexi, with Express to Bless. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Bye.